Hi guys, welcome back to a new video uh, on Fordic 2. In today's video, we are gonna take a look at QDMs and QDR and what they actually are. We are taking off at the moment in Linz, my local aerodrome, and uh, there is one navbait in Linz VOR, which we are gonna utilize to take a closer look at what actually is a QDM and QDR. We take a look at our VOR map. We're currently tracking a departure which is uh, going straight inbound into the lens VR. And as you see here, we have uh, a compass rose laid over onto the lens VR. And you might notice that the zero indication of the lens VR, which is of course here, is not censored completely towards the north. And the reason for that is that with QDMs and QDR, we are always talking about magnetic bearings okay magnetic and of course true north will be here approximately but this is magnetic north which is a which which is three or four degrees uh difference here in Linz. but of course if you go more north towards the north pole um, you will find a, a much bigger difference of true north and magnetic north but today all of the courses we will be talking about in this video will be will be magnetic, which is QDM and QDR. There are, there's also wording for other bearings, which are true bearings, but they're typically never used in navigation, because all typically all the conventional typical nav aids, VORs, NEBs, uh, located uh, not on the North Pole, but located in the Central Europe or America or Africa or Asia are typically always magnetic. And this is why we, will, why we use only QDMs and QDR. So what actually is a QDM and QDR? A QDR is always the radial of an off station. And a QDM is always the track towards an off station. So QDR is basically a track you would fly from the nav station away and the QDM is always a track you would fly to the nav station and they're always opposite 180 degrees so let's look at an example so we are now flying on the radial 140 outbound from the Linz VOR this is 150 this is 140 this is 130 now you would notice that this will be a QDR we will be tracking a QDR from the station out we will be tracking that QDR for how long we have, uh, we, we can receive a signal of that station. Now you notice that our course is also 140. And so this means that if we would, if we would be tracking a QDR, the radial we will be on, the course will always be the same. Because QDRs are basically radials out from the station. Now what we are now doing, we are um, taking a left turn and flying again into the station. The reciprocal radial of radial 140 is radial 320. The way I calculated just by adding subtraction of 180 degrees. So if we want to fly inbound, the same radial that we just flew outbound, we have to fly a radial, we have to intercept the same radial again but of course with now a course of 320. So we are now arming the VOR in our Chi 1000 um, suite, and we're not just waiting for the um, CDI to come alive so we can capture it again. We are seven nautical miles away from the station, so the process of this happening uh, depends on, uh, the, uh, on how far away you are from the actual nav station. But very soon, the CDI will be, will be coming alive, it is now alive, and we will be tracking a radial inbound to the station with a course of 3 to 0, but, be, but of course the radial is 140. VOR is now captured. So in this example, we flew outbound on radial 140, and then we made a left turn to again intercept the same radial inbound, which would now be a QDM. So flying the radial outbound 140 would be a QDR, doing a left turn 180 degrees and flying the radial inbound would be a QDM. So now VR is captured and as you see, we have intercepted the exact same radial we flew outbound, which is radial 140. So as we flew, as we flew the radial 140 outbound, 
we have been on a QDR of 140, and now we are on a QDM of 140. So right now, as we are passing the station, we will again track outbound radial 320. So this means we are again on a QDR. We just have been on the QDM of 320, and now we are on a QDR of 320 because we just have passed the station. And these are really all the things you have to know about QDMs and QDR. I hope you took something away from this lesson. See you here. Bye.